You can't do that. So what we wound up doing is I tried to tell those hard-headed people to use local dogs. And they said, well, what are the local dogs? Well, one of them is the Malmute. Now, the word Malmute is actually not one word, it's a compound word. The Malay people, they were a Mongoloid tribe, they were nomadic, and they roamed from the Kutzpoo Sound in Alaska across the Yukon and as far east as the McKenzie River Valley in the Northwest Territories. But they developed a dog that they needed. Because they were nomads, they had to have a draft animal. And so they developed this dog, was larger. They uh, had them as far as green and white, black and white, red and white, and all white could be their dogs. But the constant thing among the, this particular type of dog was their brown eyes. The deeper the brown eyes, the better the Inuit people liked it. Okay, now then, oh, I forgot to tell you one other thing. The word mute means village. So the village of the Malay people in Alaska developed this dog, thus the Alaskan male mute. Okay? Uh, they are a draft animal, which means they're going to take a little bit of time to get you where you want to go, but they're going to get you there. Okay? Now then, but you know what? I wish I had something to show you. I, hopefully I painted a good enough picture for you that you got an idea of what a Malmute looks like, except for himself down here, I don't know. He's one, but he, he's tired. He walked all the way to me. Um, let's see. I don't know, some of you, if I look around this audience right now, some of you might know the term three dog night. Uh huh, uh huh, and it's, don't know Pete, no feet either here. Okay, well, the term three dog night stems back from the Malay people. They would take and put their youngins to bed at night. And so they'd have to go out and sure up the sled and so forth and, uh, for the next day's travel. Well, uh, they, somebody had to take care of the kids. So they would bring in a dog at night to take care of the kids. And if it wasn't real cold, they'd bring in one dog. And if it was going to be cold, they brought in two. And if it was really one of those whiteouts and no winds just go whipping around, they bring in three. Thus, a three dog night. Okay? By the way, uh, these guys took real good care of their human pups. Nobody except Mama and Papa came through that door. Okay? They took care of their human pups. Okay? Um, boy, am I glad there are no Siberian people around, because boy, they need matter of a wet hand. You know, the locals, when they first brought those dogs over around 1900, they uh, referred to them as Arctic mice, because they would jump, and they would bark, and they'd yelp, and as you can tell himself, it was this and that's what they were used to, is this. Not the jumping around, so they refer to them as Arctic mice. They look like mice running all over the place. But after a while, they eventually took to them. Now then, the Siberian husky, okay, here we go again. Husky is an Inuit word meaning a village dog, or a, a native dog. So it's a native dog of Siberia, okay? Now, the Chukchi people, in Siberia are an Inuit people. Okay. Now we're going to get some lining.